What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Imperion Galactic Survival. We are going to be building during the night, because F the darkness, I destroyed the darkness with my epic, epic lights. What do you think about that? Are you like me now, game? All right. This is going to be a special episode where I am streaming live. I turned off all the bells and whistles so you guys aren't too annoyed, but you do have to look at my ugly mug on face cam and my stupid freaking... Now it's too low! Come on. Come on, you stupid webcam. How about that? That's pretty good. All right, great start to an episode. <laughs> We're going to go a half hour in this episode, at least. It's not going to be... A, a, I'm not going to be able to do an hour-long episode like I do on the Seven Days to Die streams, but I will go... I will go as long as I can, um, as long as, uh, you know, well, as long as I can. All right, so here we go, guys. I've been doing some organizing off camera. Uh, so let me come on down and show you. Really? Really? Punk ass freaking. Give me your, give me your giblets. I just have to kill one of these guys. Well, you know, I can't really complain when I'm not building my walls. Uh, that's what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to we're gonna work on this hangar area. Try and encase this a little bit. You know, uh, see what we can do here. And I'm going to go right here and put the stuff in there. And let me show you what I've been up to. All right. So I picked up a bunch of blocks over here. Uh, we, are fully, we are fully functional with the... Ooh, I still have the building supply stuff, guys. Can I get rid of that? Ooh, that's not good. All right, so what I did was I marked I I marked these on in the game. Basically, what I did was I had I had old crates, right? I want to work with these new crates, right? The new the new storage crates. The new storage crates are as follows. Let's go to ingots and components. These this is the new storage hotness, right? And I'm I'm all about it. And they are uh right here container extensions. And container controllers. Why can't I see the container controller? Container controller. There it is right next to it. Container controller. Okay. And I'm going to show you how that works right now in the beginning of this video because I think it's important. A lot of you guys already know this. I might have even explained it last video, but not everyone watches every video. So, you know. All right. So these are the, these are the controllers, right? And these are the extension. Now, these are the things you use to interact with what's in there and these are basically the things that holds everything and these are modular module modular god that freaking word you know i say that word a lot for someone who can't say it um anyway um so yeah you can you can either have one on here you can have three i don't know what the max is but so i'm going to be using these so what i did was i took out these crates right so what I had to do to take out these crates was I marked them and then I destroyed them and those marks are still there. So that's going to be a problem. Um, oh, there you go. Someone told me to come in here for these marks and there you go. Awesome. Thank you very much, Twitch. You guys are phenomenal. Uh, that was a that was a great call. Oh my God, you guys are, you guys are something else. There we go. So we cleaned that up. That's awesome. And what I did was I went ahead and organized all my storage. So what we have now is building supplies. These are stuff I build with, right? Um, food slash medicine. This is a refrigerator. Got my medicine down here. Food's up here. You know. Um, ingots slash components. Uh, so we're looking good there. That's good. Now you might be wondering, why are there guns in here? Well, these are upgrade kits. And you can't make these guns without the upgrade kits. So I figured, you know, if I needed it to craft something, it goes in there. Ammo box is the ammo box. We've got ammo and fuel. Because I like to keep all my explosive rounds with uh, fuel. So in case there's a spark, this whole base is going to go up. Um, decoration box. or I'm sorry, uh, deconstruction box. Is that a... um? What kind of box is that? Oh, that's just a regular old crappy box. Okay, well, you know what? Yeah, you got to go, my friend. We're not using these old boxes anymore. That's old school, you know? Um, and then we also have uh, equipment. All right, we've got all our armor down here. Got all our uh, boosts over here. Mods, whatever they're called. No, they're called boosts. Yeah. Uh, we got all our tools up here. Now, there's a lot of tools in here that are crap. Shotgun, chainsaw, drill. I'm going to keep them for the time being just because I like having stuff in here. I th that makes me happy. Oh, this is ammo. What the hell? What the hell is going on? And we got raw mats here. Now, I'm eventually... Uh, what I, These are my plans, Okay. I want to make the, I want to enclose the base, right? At least the top part of the base. Okay. I want to make a, I want to make a farm. Okay. I want to, I wanted to make a farm. What was the other thing I wanted to do? 
Oh yeah, solar panels. Once I get solar panels, I'm gonna make a furnace. And if I think if I get the solar panels set up right, I think I can run the furnace all the time and not have to worry about turning it off. Maybe, we'll see, not really sure. But I do wanna use the furnace. And what I'll do is I'll hook the furnace up to this so it automatically uh, cooks everything. All right, and that's all the storage. And I have been making blocks as well. Now that should, I don't know where they went because I didn't set up the output thing properly. Oh, nope, they went out to the right spot. They went out to building supplies somehow. I don't know how that worked, but all right, guys. So apparently I was still connected to the anomaly, which is my which is my small vessel, and that's where everything went, okay? Um, I'm still not sure why this stuff fell on the ground though, right? Yeah, well, it's okay now. It's okay now, that's cool. Um, another thing I wanna do is I want to put down an ATM machine. If I could find that, that would be wonderful. That would be... Where would the ATM machine be under? That'd be under, is that in my inventory? Yes, it is, okay. Well, it's, it's under in my inventory. Uh, so we're gonna put the ATM machine over here and uh, that way I can get rid of my credit cards. My credit card score is gonna be through the roof. So you come in here and you just drop your credit cards in there. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that is wonderful. All right, now we can finally get building. Yeah, I need to go. I, I didn't never I never set up my Promethean deposit, guys. So I need to go do that. Um, probably pretty soon. I don't really want to do it right now, but I need to do it pretty soon. Um, T is not working. I'm not connected into this. So I wait. How did I get unconnected from that? I don't think I did that. Maybe I did. I don't know. I guess I did. All right. So let's build up this wall so these freaking scummy aliens can't get through here. You know, because it's, it's like they were here first, but whatever. Um, because I said so. It's now my planet. So they, they got to go. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and grab this and bring this over here. And build that up. Come on. There we go. Hells yeah. There we go. We're going to have to break up a lot of this freaking... Uh, we're going to have to break up a lot of this cement. I put down a lot of this concrete um, by mistake. Uh, so this everything above ground is got to be uh, has got to be uh, metal. So I'm gonna have to break up this concrete. That's just that's just the way it got to be, people. You know. All right, we'll leave that one there for stability. And then, well, actually, we don't need to leave it there for stability because it's got to come up too. All right, guys, we're back, and I've marked off where exactly this is going to be um, over here. So you can see right there, that's gonna be all concrete. I'll probably. Um, I could use my, one of my tools here. I'll do it right now. As a matter of fact, I could use this tool right here as a filler tool and kind of bring the dirt up. Right. So I'll show you right now. You right click and you go to filler and then you could kind of like bring this up. Right. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And the, the, the floor of this compound is going to be made of reinf uh, is going to be made of, uh, concrete. Oh, show this needs to be filled in. Now I don't really have to fill this in because like I said, this is all going to be a floor. Um, this is going to be a compound. It's not just going to be an underground part. And, um, yeah, I really probably don't need to fill this in. But I like to do it, though, for structural integrity reasons. Plus, I think it'll look cooler downstairs. So I'm not going to do that right now, though. I'm just kind of showing you how you do it. Uh, what about... Oh, this is going to be a tough part, huh? Can we um, go this way with it? Oh, yeah, look at this. Wow, the filler tool is pretty cool. I think it's improved, too, man. This thing used to really suck. And then what you could do is if it gets up here and it gets out of hand, you can go to flattening. And I have no idea how the flattening works. Like, every game I've ever played where they have a flattening tool has never gotten it right. Never. This game's never gotten it right. Um, uh, what was that other game? Uh, uh, Astroneers or Space... I don't remember. What the, I don't know what the first one was called. I think it's Astroneers. Never got it right. No, no game's ever gotten it right. Um... It's a hard thing to do, though, the flattening thing, you know? So, I don't hold it against them, but... Ah, oh, come on. I can stay on the wall. Oh. I'm trying to get right on the edge, you know? Oh, frig you, game! Frig you! How about that? How do you like that self-control, not cursing? I should have been using a drone from the beginning. That's my bad. Come on. Come on, come on, stop, drone. See, I love the drone because you can use it, but I hate the drone because it it, it controls like ass. It really does. 
I don't know why they made the drone control so badly. Okay, that's good enough. So that's the idea. And then maybe we'll do a little bit of flattening. See, look at that. That doesn't look very flat to me. Oh, okay. I, I stand corrected, game. I stand corrected. That looks very flat to me. Very good. Good job. Okay. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll do the flattening stuff off camera, man. That's gonna, like... <laughs> Ain't nobody need to see that. You know what I mean? That, that is some that is some grade A boring ass let's play right there, man. Like that ain't that ain't happening. All right, so we're gonna bring that. Uh, actually, I don't know how high I want this part to be. So yeah, there we go. Good there. All right, let's finish the inside part of this first, and then we'll uh, decide how we want to do the next part. Um, I want to poke a hole in the side here. But I'm not doing it without a door because I'm sick of those pieces of crap like uh, bugs walking in my base. I think they own the place, right? Uh, of course, right where a light is. Why wouldn't it be? And then we're going to put this right here for a little... Nope, I didn't want that to be metal. Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it for metal for now. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put a door down. Oh, what kind of door? That's not a door. There we go. What kind of door do we want? I like these doors. They're pretty cool. But I like these. I like the doors that open up vertically. Um, but I like them when they're inside the base. I'm going to just do a regular door. There we go. That'll work. That'll work. We're getting some work done, people. How you like that? It's bound to happen. All right. So this is the level it needs to be. Okay. So this could go like that. And this can come right across here or come out a little bit. Now nah, I want it to come out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Come on. Work with me drone before I freaking destroy you. So why, why didn't the game make us build the drone? How come the drone doesn't need power? This drone's been in the game. I maybe, maybe since day one and we still don't need to build it. And we still, it still doesn't need power. Why? I mean, that needs to be a thing. And you know, sooner rather than later, I think. All right, guys, while we got some daylight, we're going to come out here to Promethean Deposit. I was supposed to do this at the last end of the last video. I don't know what I was thinking. I, th I was probably in a hurry or something, and then I just, I don't know, kind of slipped my mind. But um, it's cool. It's cool. Now you get to see me put it down and see what kind of numbers we're going to get. Now, this is a small deposit. This is going to be very, very slow. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. It's, um, it doesn't deplete. That's the major, that's the major thing. All right. F4... Hey, look at me. I remember the uh, auto miner all on my own. Yeah, not so much. Whoa, boy. Piece of crap spider. I didn't know they can climb up on your vehicle, man. That's messed up. Okay, come over here. There you go. That's okay. I, we actually need the food. So this is going to work out just just wonderfully. Okay, we'll go get this one. Okay. Can I put down my freaking auto miner now, please? You piece of crap spiders. Uh, connect. There. And there. All right. So somebody did the math on this. I could like, I could power this thing for like a hundred hours or something and not lose anything. I think they said. So. All right. Time to get out of here. I think I hear some more spiders. Um, but I'm not going to power that for like a hundred hours because there's, there's no point. I'll be back before then. So, um, it's kind of irrelevant. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the silicon deposit, the iron deposit, and the copper deposit, and then I'll see you guys back at base. All right, guys, I hit the iron deposit, or the iron auto miner spot. Um, I hit the copper spot. I'm going to hit the silicon spot now, and I wanted to tell you guys, these auto miners do not work with the ship, okay? And what I mean by that, I'm linked into the ship. If I go in this auto miner and take all the uh, ore out, it won't go automatically into the ship, so you guys got to be, you know, prepared for that. See? 
So, yeah, just just know that. It doesn't work with the ships. It's not really a big deal once you know it. It's just... Um, by the way, I think I can upgrade these auto miners as well at some point to Tier 3. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but um, I probably should do that at some point. Some point soon. Um, I got a lot to do, guys. I got a lot to do. I got to make a farm. I got to work on the base. I got to... Um, got to get solar panels up. I got to go hit all the titans in the area. Someone told me that because I didn't restart my game, all my uh, missions are broken. So don't even bother doing them anymore. So that kind of sucks. I also want to put a multi-turret on one of my hover vessels and take apart that wreckage. I mean, so much to do. So much to do. All right. Let's, uh, this thing is a really nice ship, but it... It handles, uh, it handles heavily, because I think it's heavy. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Because I wasn't raised in a barn. Did I lose my, um... Nope, I still have my, uh, armor. Wait, didn't I just turn off the... What did I just turn off? Oh, I turned on the oxygen. <laughs> Cage, you are too much. Alright, um... All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to go to base and we're going to go to raw mats and we're going to go to anomaly and bada bing, bada boom. Done and done. All right, so we're going to unconnect that and we are going to go to... Uh, no, not that. We're going to go to our constructor, our advanced constructor. And we're going to make the input raw mats. I might just make two constructors, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I, guess this is what, I guess this is what you... The thing is, I actually, I don't need an advanced constructor to do raw mats, right? So, hold on a sec. Hold on. This is me getting distracted. Uh, get to components. And... Um, wait, where's the constructor? This is not... Advanced constructor. Ingots and components. That's what I need to do. Okay. And where do I want this stuff to go out to? Um, building supplies. Yes. So, base. And we'll just make the cheapest constructor we can. Right? Make a, two of them? Nah, we just, we just need one. We just need one. And then we can just have that completely set up. Uh, you know, to do the things we needed to do which will be refining the materials so we don't have to keep switching uh you know our constructors because it's really kind of annoying honestly um so where, where is that building supplies and connect it and constructor should be done any second now all right guys we're back and i'm just building the roof here and um the people in twitch chat were very very nice to help me out with this um we were having some issues here but they worked it out with me and um yeah i think it's gonna look pretty cool um, we are having some structural integrity issues, though, so let's come on down here and let's get a full block and kind of put these down here because, uh, yeah, this is going to be a problem. We're going to put some in here. There we go. And then we'll put some right down here. There. Oh, God. Oh, boy. So that's really tough on the structural integrity up there i can't believe that's red why is it why is that red up here it's got full blocks all the way to the ground well no not really let's see let's put full blocks all the way to the ground and see if that helps that did help okay all right so oh boy oh boy we shouldn't be putting these blocks down here either we should be putting uh am i out of concrete nope i should be putting concrete blocks down here So what we're going to do is we're going to put that into the ground and we're going to make this unbroken all the way into the ground for maximum structural integrity. All right, so let's do this. Come on. Work with me. There we go. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, that's green. We're green people. Um, this is going to be a real problem, though, with these, uh, uh, I don't know, should I not make them? I don't want to just make a flat roof. Isn't that kind of boring? I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, Fire Roof is just a little uninspired, you know? So we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. So that's going to go like, well, we do that. We'll do that for now. And then this one will come around like so. Do we only want to go up twice? Now nah, we'll go up a third time. Actually, it's not really going to work like that, is it? No, that's not going to work. We're going to need a full block on top. Well, that's all right. We can do that. Shouldn't be a problem. This will be the full block, though. Yeah, this will be the full block. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so... If we go up a third time, we're going to have to go up a fourth time. No, not really. No, we're not. No, we're not. Let's just go up a third time. Always go with your gut. Actually, no, this is actually going to work out even better. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm building with concrete. Son of a... And through the power of editing, not only did you guys not have to sit through my curse, my cursing, but, um, yeah, you didn't have to sit through me rebuilding that either. So, you know, congratulations. Um, I didn't really curse. Actually, I cursed a, a little bit, but not too much. Not too much. At least I don't think it's too much. But then again, I can never curse too much. Curse more. I need more cursing. Cursing is very therapeutic for me. Um, a lot of you guys know of my anger issues. I've got serious, serious anger problems. And um, cursing really helps me to uh, tamp down on the murderous rage that I feel sometimes. And uh, it really helps. It helps a lot. All right, so that's three. So that means that one's got to come out. So let's take this one out. Sun's going down. That means we're going to have to turn on our wonderful, wonderful lights. P menu, please. Oh, reload, fool. Oh, I don't have anything to reload with. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Now, do I have any... I don't think I have any ammo fuel. Let's check. We do not have any ammo fuel. Let's go to ingots and compounds. Oh, God, we are really low on iron. I figured that was going to be the case. Um, that's okay. I've got some ways to deal with that. Um, like making more iron. <laughs> Pro strats, guys. Uh, there we go. Make a few of those. And the output will be fuel and ammo. Ah, too late. That's all right. I'll grab it out of there. Uh, where did it go to? Building supplies, right? There we go. Reload, fool! Um, wait, what? Did I not put that in my inventory? Multi-charge? Do I have to... I'm confused. Hold on. What am I missing here? Multi-charge, ammo, multi-tool. Oh, it, <laughs> that wasn't my inventory. See, this stuff really confuses the hell out of me. Like, I mean, it's going to take a while to get used to this stuff. Because sometimes over here is the anomaly. Sometimes over here is the anomaly. Sometimes it's the base. Sometimes it's building supplies. It's all over the place. All over the freaking place. Fair enough. Fair enough. Back to work. Come on, man. I want you to reload. Come on, bro. Jeebus. By the way, if you hear my wife yelling, it's because she's she's playing D&D. &D. This is her D&D &D night, so I f I'd feel bad asking her to be quiet uh, for my recording. So I will not do that. I will not be doing that, good sir. Um, so that can go right there. And then we need these. And we got to take that out. So let's get rid of that. Come on now. There we go. It's all coming up cage. All right, guys, I went and slept through the night and lost power, but uh, the good news is I don't get attacked by drones anymore. Freaking game. Actually, I can't really complain about the game. Um, that's my fault because I haven't restarted with updates. If you don't restart with updates, you can't complain. But I'm going to come in here to my ammo and fuel. And I'll grab this. I might as well use the biofuel. Just get rid of it. And I'm going to come over here and fill all. No? Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll just do it this way then. It's fine by me. And then we're going to come over here and turn off the lights. All right. Cool. All right. So let's get to work on this. So I've got a, a problem over here. I think I'm just going to have this come right across. Yeah, actually, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. I just don't know about structural integrity. Let's go ahead and... By the way, I'm pressing N to bring up this menu. 
So, uh, and we gotta worry about structural integrity because that's a thing. Come on, man. Uh, oh. Wait, what? Page down, fool. There we go. Well, let's just give it a shot. The hell with it. All right, structural integrity, suck it. That's what you get when you mess with me. I know something's going to collapse eventually. Actually, it shouldn't be on the edge there, should it? No, well... No, it definitely shouldn't. Can I take that out? Now, this is, this is really asking for trouble. Oh, oh I like to live dangerous. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring this over here. There we go. And that'll work for me. We got that right there. Okay, bring this across to here. And then bring this across. Hey, all right, all right, it's coming along. It's coming along. Uh, now, how do I want to handle this? You know, I'm not going to really worry about that right now because I don't have a good answer. So, whenever you don't have a good answer for something, you just kind of put it off for tomorrow. Oh, allergies. Frig you, allergies. Frig you. Hmm. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. This is not it. Oh, boy. All right. You know what, guys? That is a job for the people in chat. Because <laughs> I don't know how to handle that. And that rhymes. Um, okay. Well, we'll get to that in a second. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how I dealt with the corner or how the um, people in chat helped me deal with the corner. So what you do is you kind of make one of these bad boys right here, the, the cut corner. This is one of my favorite blocks. I use this block a lot in Seven Days to Die as well. Really like that block. So you put that there, and then it's just uh, regular corners. Actually, not down here because you need a round part on the bottom. That was... Oh, boy. Um... It was a round corner. Round corner. So that was this one. And we need to get that round part on the bottom. That's not going to do it. That did it. Then we go back to green. Okay. All right. And that works. So um, the next thing we have to do is we have to figure out numbers. I hope you guys are ready for count with cage. All right. So let's do this. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't believe it's even. I can't believe it's even. How did that end up being even? <sighs> well, maybe we could do it. Maybe it's not even this way. One, two. Shut up, timer. We're not done. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, it's not even, but it's thirteen. <sighs> All right, well, thirteen is it is what it is. Let's come over to here and let's go to building supplies. I do have. Uh, oh, I could only make one hanger door. All right, guys, Cage's crib is coming along. It's coming along. All right, we put the uh, the I don't know what you would call it skylight hanger bay door. I guess right there. Um, well, let's just go ahead and fly a ship in there. Now, this is the biggest one we have right now, so let's see how this one works. All right, so you come in, you know, I, I'm out, like, exploring the galaxy, then I come back to my base, Cage's Crib, and then you just come on down through here. Okay. Into the hangar. I don't really have a place to park this one, so I'll just kind of park it right over here. And... Not a lot of room in here, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's actually turned out a lot better than I than I even planned. So, um, I do have some white lines here leading down into the base. And I have some little yellow lines here to kind of signify where I'm going to park my ships. I'll do a little bit more with this. I have some pillars on all the corners just for the lulls. And um, if you want to see the structural integrity, it's not good. It's not good. But I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Um, the only thing I could do is maybe put a pillar in the middle, but I... I, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think there's too much more I can do with this. Um, you know, if stuff collapses, it collapses. If you're gonna put a if you're gonna put a skylight hangar bay door, you're just gonna have to deal with this kind of stuff. Um, I guess. 
Uh, I'm not the world's best builder, so maybe other people know how to do it better. But um, I'm quite happy with this. We still got to do a paint job and everything, but that's going to have to wait for another video because we are going long here and I got to go. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.